All right. Um, tried to do this a little while ago and had a problem with the camera flipping again on me. Um, this is the uh, kind of ongoing saga of the uh, Seminole pumpkins. Uh, we're having a lot less problems now we've had some rain and also threw some rabbit manure on the uh, around the base of them. We're having a lot less problems with uh, with the stink but with squash bugs and uh, plants growing very well. We picked uh, Seminole pumpkins off of this plant this morning to uh, to fix and eat some and uh, also the one in the back and we've got as you can see there's not many uh, they look good, not many damaged leaves, and uh, got several pumpkins over on this side. Um, when I filmed this the first time, it flipped it sideways, and I actually killed a couple of uh, squash bugs. But we pulled a couple of nice squash plant, uh, a couple of nice squash off of here to uh, to eat tonight. We're going to be mixing them with, uh, as you can see, we got a nice one over there, and another nice one there. Got several small ones right here. This plant is really kicking it, and he's suffered virtually no damage from the uh, from the squash bugs and the other problems this year. Um, so, and we'll be going and filming the other side shortly. Um, but uh, we're we're having pretty good luck now <laughs> with our with our plants, and they are growing and crawling around on the on as they're supposed to so uh, anyway this is uh, going to be part five of the uh, seminal pumpkins and I'll be going down to the other side and or actually I've already gone down to the other side and uh, filmed some down there I'll just have to join this one to it um, it flipped my camera around the wrong way earlier so uh, as you can see they're getting quite large and they're doing very well so and we've picked, I don't know, we've probably already picked at least 10 um, Seminole pumpkins off. And my chickens are enjoying the uh, corn we uh, harvested today. And we'll be harvesting some more tomorrow. Probably might even be harvesting a little bit more this afternoon. Anyway, um, uh, thank you for watching. Yeah, okay. All right. This is uh, Seminole Pumpkins um, on the uh, rabbit coop, and they are doing a halfway decent job of uh, shading and uh, keeping the plants, uh, keeping the, the rabbits somewhat cool. They, as soon as they get up front, um, further forward, they'll do an even better job. Um, we have lots and lots of young squash growing on these, and uh, there's a largest one up towards the front i'll probably try and show it to you in a minute um the plants are really 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 taking off this one in particular um as you can see up there there's there's quite a bit of uh he's growing like crazy <laughs> that's like eight nine branches um there's a large one on that that side we also have um the uh, seminal pumpkins starting to grow through the corn and would will not surprise me to find a couple of uh, a couple of squash in here in the next few days. And we've also got one growing. Uh, as you can see, that one's going. That one's really going to town. He's growing very well. And uh, we've got one up over here. Whoops! Just stepped in a fire ant bed. They're not going to be happy. They're really not going to be happy. <laughs> And one of my, one of my, uh, drew some artichokes has fallen over for some reason. Uh, may have been too much rain. Anyway, we got, uh, some little pumpkin growing up over the chicken coop, and, uh, it is going to be providing shade, and over the next couple of weeks, it'll be providing even more. Um, we're already into August, and, uh, this thing's almost all the way over to the other side of the of the uh, chick coop, um, so he's growing extremely, extremely well. Anyway, um, I'll be posting this, and uh, we'll also be doing some more cooking today with uh, some Seminole pumpkins with 
a little bit of a different recipe. We're going to be putting some uh, some mushrooms, homegrown mushrooms, in with them. So anyway, uh, if you like this sort of thing, I'd ask you to subscribe. This is the kind of ongoing saga of the Seminole Pumpkins. Bye.